What is going on everyone? Welcome back to another video. Today we are going to be going in the water. We got our dive bag. We're going to do some diving. See if we can catch any invertebrates, any cool aquarium fish. We got the bucket right here. So if we do catch anything cool, we'll bring it home for one of our aquariums, depending on what it may be. There's a lot of wildlife at this bridge we're about to dive. There's octopus, seahorses, arrow crabs, coral banded shrimp, bunch of exotic aquarium fish too. So we're going to see you guys once we get down to the bridge. Okay, well, saw a bunch of fish, big old barracuda, big old manatee that just ran by and I got a video of him, but there's a bunch of fish down there. We're gonna see if we can get some coral banded shrimp, maybe some little fish, let's go. Pretty much all on GoPro. Look at the size of that arrow crab. He's huge, going in the bucket. We just got finished up diving, long dive, but we came out with only one arrow crab. But this is the biggest arrow crab I've ever caught or seen. And this thing is huge. Look at the size of him. He's definitely gonna be able to go in the pool pond and we'll see him a lot just because of the size he is. Usually we catch them, they're like this big around. This is a monster. And probably honestly pregnant or I don't know, just a big old arrow crab. So we're gonna get him home. See you guys at the pool pond. We are back home. So a little change of plans. We're actually gonna be putting him in the 40 gallon rimless aquarium that we have our little community fish in. We got them all out right now. A little fire fish right there. Then we got our little royal grama down there. Got some damsels, clownfish, and then our other fire fish. And then there's some more fish just hiding in the rocks and stuff. But the reason I decided to add them in this tank is because there's a lot of algae. This light that we have is very strong. So it produces a lot of algae. So he's gonna clean up a lot of it. So that's why I decided to just put him in here for, probably for about two months until he cleans this tank up a bit and then we'll move him either into the 200 gallon or the pond, whatever you guys wanna see. Let me know in the comments down below. So right here we got a drip line, just like that. And then it's slowly gonna drip water into there, like that. And then we'll give him about 30 minutes. Once that 30 minutes is up, he's going in to his new tank. While our arrow crab is acclimating, there he is right there. Look how big he is. And once he's done, I'm gonna take him out, put him on my hand so you can get a better look and get a size comparison to my hand. But while he's acclimating, we are gonna just go over some of the tanks, give you a little update on some things that I haven't talked about in a while. Right here, we got the community tank. Everything is doing really awesome in here. We do have a little algae problem just because of how strong the light is. I have lowered it to its lowest voltage, so it wasn't as strong, but it's still producing a little algae so what we're gonna do is have him come in here clean it up for a couple months but if you notice right here there's no algae even on the rocks and then you come over here where the light is and there's a bunch of it so obviously it's just the, the light is really really strong so what he's gonna do is come in here eat the remaining of it and then kind of even it out and balance it oh then we come out here we got little baby little baby hey oh you're just eating some hay. You got some hay on your head. Let me get that off. Oh, he's so cute. Such a cutie. He's got a whole bunch of hay. I just picked him up and I put it in this like little 
fire pit thing. So pretty much he just picks off it all day. Yeah, and it doesn't get wet, so it's like a win-win. Little baby's happy. He's a happy goat just munching away. You happy, little baby? Little baby. Cora, are we going to bring him to the beach later? Duh. We're going to bring little baby for his first time to the beach. I don't know if you guys ever seen it before, but uh, a goat at the beach. We're, and maybe I'll even pick the camera up and put it into one of the next videos of little baby having some fun at the beach. Hey, hey, 200 gallons right there. We got the lights off right now, but everything is doing awesome in there. We're going to go to the pool pond. And here is the 3,000 gallon saltwater pool pond. We got the blue and yellow cod. We got the Emperor Sapper, the cow nose ray. Bumblebee grouper is, oh, there he is right there. Bumblebee grouper's just chilling on the rocks. But like I was saying, eventually the arrow crab, he's big enough to go in here. And we do have already some arrow crabs in here. So maybe they can even mate or something and have babies in here. That would be pretty cool. But for now, he's gonna go into the aquarium until he cleans it up a little and then he's gonna get it moved into the pond and have a lot more structure to hide out through. Everything's doing awesome in the pond. The water looks really clear, so the filter is obviously doing its job. Soon we're gonna be doing a maintenance on it and if you guys wanna see a video of maintenancing the pond and cleaning out the rocks, the sand and everything, let me know in the comments down below because I'll film that, post it for you guys, and you guys can check it out, get some ideas from it and see all the fish up close and personal as well while we're in the pond. All right, it is time to add the arrow crab into his tank. Here he is right here. Let's see this guy. Looks like a spider. Literally like a spider. Here's our arrow crab. Look at how majestic and cool he is. I mean, that big old arrow. Obviously, that's why they call him arrow crabs. And he's got these big old claws on him. And they're blue. But here he goes. He's going to love it in here. And he'll clean up all that algae. He's just hanging out on the rocks right now. But you're going to see, he's going to take those claws and pinch all that algae and then put it into his mouth. I'm wondering if he'll do it right now. But I think he's gonna do awesome in here. And like I said, eventually, we'll move him into the pond or the 200 gallon. Oh, look, I think he's already got a piece. Look how cool he is. He's got all this algae just to munch on. I mean, there's algae for days and he's probably gonna get bigger by the time we move him out of here just because of all the food he's gonna be getting. But he's in there, he's doing awesome. We'll keep you guys updated on him through his process and how he does and throughout the videos. Arrow Crab is in the tank. We need some names for this guy right now. Drop them in the comments down below and I promise you, next video I do, I'll pick a name and that will be his final name and then he's gonna be a big part of this channel because I'm gonna move him from this tank eventually into the pond and then let him live a life in there and then maybe he'll be mate with the other arrow crabs we have in the pond. So that would be a pretty cool thing if we went in there with the GoPro and saw like little baby arrow crabs. Look, he's already eating. He's already eating. I just saw him take a piece of algae and put it into his mouth. That is so sick. But that wraps up today. We went out diving, saw a lot of fish, a big old manatee. I actually saw two, but I got one on camera. And those things are absolutely massive. They're like, they're like cows, but underwater. Yeah, pretty fun day, honestly. We just went out there. Went diving around and ended up running into this massive arrow crab. I mean, he is huge. If you guys enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up. Also, comment down below a name for our arrow crab. With that being said, we'll see you in the next one. See ya!